it seems like the way things work people don't end up in necessarily the career that they intend. And I'll tell you, one of the things that I love about virtualization is the fact that it really gets to touch just a little bit of everything. And that's why I think it'd be great to talk for just a moment about the different careers that are available in the world of virtualization. So what are the different types of careers and job roles that relate to virtualization? Well, we can kind of divide it up into some major areas. The first would be what we think of as administration of the virtualization environment. The administrative side of virtualization is going to deal with adding and modifying and removing virtual machines in response to the requests that are made. So as new desktops and new servers need to be created, somebody's got to build them. These admins will also be responsible for things like migration, moving virtual machines from one host to another, making sure they're in the best place to do the best job. They'd also be responsible for ensuring things like high availability, making sure that even when certain hosts go down, virtual machines are able to continue running and implementing the technologies that make that happen. A related skill set of a virtualization admin is being aware of the need for load balancing, which is really just the straightforward proposition that says that we should ensure that we are not putting all of our VMs on just one host, but that we spread the load to balance that on the various different hosts that we have available to us. We also have some maintenance tasks, though. And the maintenance of those virtual machines is often actually one of those more starting roles that people see in virtualization because it's going to involve monitoring, looking at the resource utilization, the error logs, and identifying issues when they come up, and then responding to those issues. So you're not necessarily creating the infrastructure when you're in this maintenance role, but you are monitoring it, responding to it, and mitigating issues. And I'll tell you, the number one way that we mitigate problems in the world of IT, and especially in virtualization, is the power of a good backup, right? Ensuring that we have copies of our files that are off stored someplace else so that if we needed to, we could rebuild our server, we could rebuild our virtual machines. We have the backups in place to ensure that if something goes wrong, we can put things back the way they were. And in fact, there's a related technology that's a, a little virtualization buzzword we hear, and that's the idea of a snapshot. And a snapshot lets us have essentially like an undo button. They're even easier to work with than a backup. In fact, you could even roll back to an old snapshot and then roll forward to a more recently taken snapshot. It's almost like time travel for a virtual machine. But I won't lie, this also is going to involve more monitoring because now we've got to monitor the place where we're saving our backups and the places that we're saving our snapshots because all these great mitigation tools take up disk space. And eventually, if we start running out of that, we're going to have problems, right? Now, another big virtualization role that we're going to see is someone who focuses in on the virtualization infrastructure. So unlike the virtualization admin that's really focused on the VMs themselves, that infrastructure admin is all about ensuring that our virtualization world is up and running the way it needs to be. So some of that is security elements and making sure that we're letting the right people in and keeping the wrong people out of the tools and files that relate to our virtual worlds. And it also means building out the elements that we're going to need. So that'll include things like hosts, the computers that actually support the virtual machines, and the other related elements. This is especially where we start to see the integration with network and storage. And network and storage are interesting because there's two sides to them. We have the physical infrastructure elements connecting to our physical network switches and routers and firewalls, connecting to our storage area network that we might have set up. But then we also have a virtual world. We can set up virtual logical switches and logical routers and logical firewalls that are actually virtual machines or that are distributed across the host to do their job. We can have virtual storage in the same way where all the hosts create this abstraction of a hard drive that's really all of their hard drives kind of pooled together to create a common place to store files with all sorts of advantages. The thing about infrastructure is none of these are things that people see directly, right? They're all kind of behind the scenes elements that have to be there in order for all of our features to work correctly and all the functionality that we need out of our network. But honestly, people just don't notice these things unless they go wrong. Now, the last career and job role in virtualization I wanted to mention is in the area of automation. And this ties into what we think of as DevOps which means scripting and programming to the APIs that are available to us, or working with tools that somebody else has developed that are responsible for not just adding or removing or changing a virtual machine, but a true rollout of maybe a virtual application that might involve uh, having three web servers and then 
two application servers and two database servers providing redundancy for each other, automatically adding the correct networking switches and routers, maybe even a virtual load balancer. So rolling out something like this is all about beating the clock. It's saying, let's be more agile and simplify the process of creating virtual machines that do a particular job. Because although there will still be a need to, on occasion, create individual virtual machines by hand, the more we can create a consistent automated environment, the happier people are because things work the way they're supposed to. And we're not having to build things over and over again. So my friend, I just want you to get a chance to see a little more clearly some of the different aspects of being a virtualization admin, what it might look like to step into that role and the kind of things that you might end up working with. The fact is, whether it's in one company or many, you'll probably get a chance to experience many of these different roles over time, and that's great. You keep building your knowledge, you keep getting more in-depth capabilities, you learn the technologies, and you learn how to make them better and more efficient and more able to support the company or entity that you work for, because that's what IT is all about. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.